So today we're gonna to review something kind of fun. So we have two lined up to demonstrate. The first one is called Two Cups. And uh, you can see the logo right here in front. And the other one is this one right here. Mm -hmm. When we had ordered the second one, actually I thought I was getting another Two Cups, but um, I guess I'd made a mistake and ordered this one instead. But I'm happy I did because it's different and yeah, it kind of provides like a different functionality. All right. <laughs> so the first one we had was two cups and it's, uh, it, again, the, both of these fit into cup holders and they kind of work the same way. This one has three little, I'm going to say little tension spacers here. So it came like this where it had a little plastic insert at the bottom. And what you do uh -huh. is you remove that. Oh, you I'll have to remove it, it first? I think, I can't even remember, but <laughs> I know I have to remove it now because <laughs> I just put it in. There we go. So I can see in here, there's a little tightening screw. Ah. And mm -hmm. so let's see how this works. So I like this idea because you put it in the cup holder and you don't have to clasp it onto anything else. Yeah, I know you don't have to, yeah. No suction cup that can come loose all of a sudden spilling your soup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you basically you, you deploy the little tension uh, feet there by twisting the, the bottom of this thing. So mm -hmm. let's try it now. It's on unlock and now I'm going to lock it in there. So do you have to make it very tight? Um, like if you tighten it a lot, will it not be wobbly or will it still have a little wobble? It still has a little wobble because the feet are rubber. And actually the weird thing with this cup holder, you have to get it just right because there's a little space in between here. So if like one of the mm -hmm. three feet are, oh, right. are there right in the middle then it's not going to work so you have to make sure that there's a foot there a foot there and a foot there and this cup holder actually already has some little tension feet to hold in cups in the first place let's try it tightening this again and yeah it's a little that's good uh, it's a little wobbly but if you put a drink expected. in there it'll anchor it down yeah and you definitely don't lose a cup holder because you can still use it as a cup holder there two cups yeah exactly <laughs> So then this pivots, which is great, because yeah. you can always bring it close to you if it's only for the driver mm -hmm. and or towards your guest. What if I want it to be like this? Then you can put it there. <laughs> <you> just did. <laughs> does it dig into you if you're driving? Actually, yeah, it does. My elbow does hit it, but I guess while I'm driving, I would put it here. Mm -hmm. And this way the french fries would be closer to you. Look at you. Mm -hmm. But the thing I like about it, actually, if you look here, you can actually detach this tray kind of easily so that you can wash it, right? Oh, so this nice. is probably the part that gets dirtiest. So you'd probably wash this more often. And then when it's clean, just easily pop it back in there. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty clever. Mm -hmm. I, I like this one a lot. All right, let's go take a look at the other one. We're gonna leave the first one in just to see if you can have two food tray holders. So this one looks different. There's nothing you can twist from the inside. Yeah, and you do lose a cup holder. That's the thing. Uh, let's see. Expand to tighten in car cup holder. So let's do that now. Oh, great. Uh, see, I like this system because it's um, it doesn't have like that three tension feet. It's actually it's completely mm -hmm. uh, integrated into the whole thing. The entire thing expands. That's really good. This one is very high. So if you can see both. Um, this one's very low, kind of more out of the way. This one's really in your face. Well, you know why they do that? It's so you can have both hands on the wheel and you just have to have your hamburger sort of falling off of the tray. All right, so to lower this tray, you have two pivot points, uh, one up high here and one down here. So if we just do one of them, let's see what happens. The table leans this way, so you have to compensate with the other one in order to get it completely straight, mm -hmm. flat. There we go. Nice, and this, this is actually kind of more versatile than the other one mm -hmm. because you can really change the angle, the height, the tilt. And it can hold the phone too. This is one of my favorite parts is that it has this phone holder. And I know a lot of people have phone phone holders, maybe that attach to I don't know where they attach to, like the air vent or the windshield of the second Yeah, cup. so we've never had one of those, um, but this seems really quick and easy. Like yeah. you know, you just plop it on. Dinner and a movie in the car. In the last two years, we've been uh, eating a lot in the car because um, of some restaurant closures. So 
I'm surprised we didn't get these earlier. We've actually been putting our food in our lap and eating that way, and then that's why all my pants have ketchup on them. Uh, but these are definitely much more practical and easier to use. Uh, but we're going to try it out with some, with some food. We'll do a little field test and see how they work. Should we get food from Premier Moussan or Pascabella? Maybe both. I can't bring it really closer to me. It's better for just like reaching to fries. Overall, each had its own pros and cons and little quirks, but we're still glad to have them and they do come in handy. You can even throw your keys, loose change, wallet, or anything else on them. Let us know what you think, and if you have your own creative tips and tricks to dining in your car. <laughs>